Welcome back. You're watching First Up. Let's now tell you the latest as far as the movie Urta Punjab is concerned. But if the censor board... If you can believe it, the censor board also wants the reality in the film to be tempered. With Punjab elections around the corner, it's Shahid Kapoor's Urta Punjab that smashed into the censor wall. Now, of course, before the film's release, the makers, if they don't get a clearance from the revising committee, can approach the appellate tribunal. Uh, the film, of course, is set to release on 17th June. Leading an angry charge against the film are the ruling Badals of Punjab, who are already under heavy fire for doing little about Punjab's drug menace. Let's quickly cut across live now. We are joined in on the phone line with Mr. Uh, Ashok Pandit. Mr. Pandit, 89 cuts. No mention of the state Punjab. What is going to be left as far as creative freedom is concerned in the movie then? I, I may understand that the censor board may have uh, some problems, but when you, when you don't have... I mean, close to 90 cuts is unheard of. You see, uh, for me, numbers don't matter. For mm -hmm. me, even one cut is as uh, condemnable as 90. To be very honest, as a filmmaker and as a citizen of this country. For me, even one cut is, is, is not pardonable, as far as I am concerned. Let me tell you very honestly. Now, what the what, uh, issue which I want to raise, Sanket, is that if they had a problem with Urta Punjab, uh, the title and the film, why was the trailer released? I I am I am I am I am confused. Did the trailer of the film had the same title? The trailer of the film had the same language, same feel, everything was same. So when trailer is trailer was released without, without any problems, and Arvind Kashyap that had thanked the CBSC, what is the problem suddenly with the with, 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 with the chairman or with the examining committee? Very interesting. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I uh, I was not part of this committee, uh, revising committee, and as it is. The chairman never calls me because I have a very, uh, I have a very strong opinion of uh, protecting the you know freedom of expression of a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. So having said that, I think tomorrow if I want to make a film, Sanket, on on genocide of Kashmiri Pandits in Kashmir, huh. or, or or terrorism in Kashmir, can't I use the name Kashmir? Can't I use the name if I want to make a film uh, on the northeast? Can I? Can't I use the? What is is it? Is, is, you know I don't know how to react. I I am I am surprised and I am shocked. What kind of what kind of uh, situation are we to mockery? It, 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 it's a comedy. No, so, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pandit, do you suggest that this was an afterthought? That initially you released the trailer, you had no problem with the name, but then perhaps upon seeing that there is a bit of a controversy over here, uh, the censor board then played safe. I mean, initially starting off with 40 cuts to now saying that there should be no Punjab and suggesting 90 cuts. What I will can, be left I in can, the movie? I, I can tell you with confidence. Okay, please believe me. There is no political interference in this. This is the mind of the chairman of the CBFC. I want to call record that he himself has seen the first film he, uh, on the revising committee. He himself has taken the decisions. He himself has uh, given the cut. There's nothing to do. I, I'm quite sure. If you, because if, 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 if the politics would have been, uh, you know, in between, then the trailer also would have not been released. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so the, the person in question who has seen the film, that's why I've come to know that on the revising committee, uh, the chairman saw the film, there was no other board member, uh, is more uh, uh, to be questioned than anybody else. All right, uh, Mr. Ashok Pandit, many thanks for joining us at this moment. Uh, this is going to be an important story right here on India Today. Let's now cut across live to Shilpa Ratnam, who joins us from Mumbai with all the latest morning. Shilpa, uh, two questions that I'm going to ask you. Question number one, is there, is it a crime to mention uh, the state? Like I've seen in some movies where uh, you, you are trying to portray something real, but then you create a fictional state or you go to a different state so that it does not appear as real, it is fictional. But here is a case where the director wants to mention the name, wants to highlight a problem. Is this a crime? 
Well, Sanket, uh, you know, while a lot of films uh, do deal with these problems by setting them in a fictional land to avoid uh, complications of this sort, you do have films like Delhi Belly, uh, which come out, which spoke about crime in Delhi. Uh, you have lighter films like Chennai Express that, of course, nobody uh, seems to have a problem with because it's just stereotyping. Uh, but when you come to Urta Punjab, uh, like uh, Mr. Ashok Pandit mentioned, when the trailer came out, there didn't seem to be any objection with the word Punjab itself. The censor board initially given it 40 cuts and then the makers go to the revising committee. Right, because they're unhappy with 40 cuts. And then on the revising committee, surprise who is there, but the chairman, uh, Pelaj Nani himself, and he seems to have been the sole person to have ruled again. And now he's decided uh, to be even more conservative uh, with the film and gives it 89 cuts and asks for the word Punjab to be removed. Now, Ashok Pandit says there is no political interference, but there's definitely political pressure, uh, you know, regarding the word Punjab because uh, the Akali Dal has said uh, that references to Punjab should be removed and that this film should be set in a fictional Space and uh, you know no reference to elections and also no, no, why not? Uh, no reference why not? Uh, again this see the, there is a reason why exactly. I'm asking you this question Shilpa that just because there exactly. are elections exactly. due in Punjab does that mean that no movie can exactly. release I can understand the only legal process as far as electioneering is concerned in this country is the model code of conduct once elections are announced then you can't take any decisions and that also is for the government of that particular state how on earth does that impact a release of a movie well, uh, Sanket, they obviously feel that uh, this film will influence voters and they obviously fully, uh, believe that uh, this film uh, has a message that isn't very conducive uh, to their rule in the state, you know, because it addresses the drug menace and also the film addresses elections uh, in the state. So they are really uh, worried about, well, it, from the looks of it, it looks like they're really worried uh, about these two subjects that the film deals with and hence they've asked for a complete removal of not just the word Punjab but all references to it uh, and uh, that's what's happened uh, you know thanks to Mr. Pelaj Nani this is something that he feels as well next. so no matter if it's what's a unilateral the next decision option for the without producers? political sure Shilpa what is the well, next well, the option for the normally, producers now well, Sanket, normally uh, in a case like this, they would go to the FCAT, the Film Certification Appellate Tribunal. But mm. to do that, they would need written changes from the revising committee. But the revising committee, sources tell us, haven't given them anything in writing. They've been told all these 89 cuts orally. So they really can't go to the FCAT yet. So the only recourse is now to go to the High Court. So, uh, you know, that will be the next probable step that the filmmakers will take. The filmmakers, of course, here are Phantom and Balaji. That's Anra Kashyap, Ekta Kapoor, uh, Vikas Bhai. Uh, so these are the people and the director is Abhishek Chobe. Uh, these are the people who are going to have to fight it out. This film was scheduled to release on uh, the 17th of June but it's seeming highly unlikely right now. Uh, the censor board uh, it's looking like use, is using some strong-handed tactics to uh, make sure that the makers succumb uh, so that the release is on track. But what we're hearing is that the makers are willing to push the date of release but they aren't willing to give up this fight so easily. Paratnam, many thanks uh, for joining us uh, for the moment. Uh, we'll of course get to hear from the producers also what their next option is going to be. In this case, in all likelihood, as Shilpa points out, perhaps a legal recourse is the only option left for Anurag Kashyap and the other producers.